Welcome back to another video, you lovely souls. You have to do this in order to live a fulfilled life. You have to take it off. Before I jump into this video today, I want to say, hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Kelly Travel Spirit. If you are new here to my video, welcome to the channel, baby. Real talk. I'm so grateful to have you here. You are definitely guided here for a reason. There are messages here for you in this video. If you do not understand the message, but you know you feel it resonating to you. If you don't understand what resonance is, you're going to feel my words speak directly to your soul. It's going to feel like I'm talking directly to you. If you don't understand quite why, time and time, no clarity will come. Always know, lovely souls, don't let your gas tank run on E. Many of us discover, have experienced what burnout feels like, and it's not good at all, right? So be mindful of your energy and get to know your energy. Your energy is your power. You only got a certain amount of energy a day to do what you're going to do. You feel me? So choose wisely. Let me go ahead and jump up into this video today. I'm grateful to have each and every one of you who are here. If you've been here rocking with me, I just want to say thank you so much for being you. And if you're the one, if you're someone here who's doing the work, however little that is or whatever, however big that is, whatever it is, you're doing the work. I'm so proud of you, you courageous, bold soul. Thank you for being you and thank you for being here doing what it do. You feel me? I want to go ahead and jump into this video today to give you this quick message. You have to do this in order to live a fulfilled life. Fulfillment does not come from material things. A lot of us was taught that we would be fulfilled when we get this, this house, this car, these clothes, or even this certain amount of money. A lot of times we've all felt like, well, when we, when we get in that, uh, say special relationship or that romantic relationship, when we, we get married and, and we have kids and do all these things, then we will, we will be fulfilled. We will be happy then when fulfillment is something that has to do with you actually within your world, being fulfilled within you as a whole, as a being that you are. That's what fulfillment really is. That's why sometimes people get caught up in buying things thinking that it's going to make them feel better, right? Just say, just say it like this. If you like wearing Jordan tennis shoes and every time you feel bad, you go buy you a pair of new Jordan tennis shoes and you look in your closet today and you're like, man, I got about 20 pairs of these Jordan tennis shoes and I still feel the same. That's because these things have no value, no meaning to you, nor will it ever make you feel or have fulfillment within yourself. Fulfillment comes from deeply within you and knowing who you truly are. So you have to do this in order to live a fulfilled life. I encourage you lovely souls. You have to take the mask off. When we come here into this physical dimension, this earth, this earth school, this materialistic world, this assimilation here, we wear a mask. We, we wear a mask, which many call it the ego. Edge God out, edge goodness out. And we got to be who everybody else wants us to be. We got to please everybody. And sometimes we wear many different masks and it's very tiring. We always put on to make other people happy, right? We be who everybody wants us to be and it starts to hurt us so much inside, especially after doing it for so long. A lot of times... We uh, think that this is actually normal for us. We think this is the way of life. Like we're supposed to, we're supposed to, when we go to a job interview, we're supposed to butter up the boss. We're supposed to sugarcoat it, make it look good. Do all these things that are definitely out of our nature just j instead of just being ourselves. So wearing this mask has become very familiar to us because we've worn it for a long time. And we've worn it so long playing this game that we kind of lost who we truly are. And then we get caught up in all the things that lie with us with that mask on. And we're afraid to take that mask off because we don't want to be seen who we truly are. We think people are going to judge us. We think people are going to think that we're weird because along our path somewhere, somehow we might've been told that we are weird along our path somewhere. Somehow we've been told that uh, when we're being ourselves, we've been told it's not right. It's wrong. Why can't you just be like everybody else? There's things that we experienced in our childhood that carry along with us today. So it's so much easier for us that we feel to wear that mask, although it's hurting us deeply inside. And in order to live a fulfilled life, you have to take the mask off. And you have to know that it's okay, lovely soul, to truly be a beautiful, lovely, amazing, bold, courageous self. You are meant to be who you are, the person that you're, you're going to discover who you are. But it all starts on the path of you seeing everything that you're not. Doing things like seeing, have, you'll start to see beliefs that you carry that, uh, if you open up to this, you'll start to see certain beliefs that you carry that are not supportive of you for you to be able to release and let go to start understanding these things that are uh, appearing in your life that you quite might not understand. It's probably showing you of who you not, what you don't want, what you're believing that's keeping you stuck, what you're holding on that's keeping you stuck. Why are you feeling trapped? Why are you in a way? Are you blocking off 
what the universe is trying to give you. Or you're the one standing in the way of something good. Or you're the one who's standing in the way of blocking off these chains because you're not open up to receive it, right? Because maybe you don't feel worthy of it. Maybe you don't feel like you deserve it. Maybe you don't feel like you're enough and you are absolutely all of the above. You are enough. You do deserve it. And it's saying that it is available to you, but you must know that and feel that within yourself. And it's going to take going within yourself and doing the inner work and taking the mask off. It's easy to wear the mask because we've been doing it for so long. And when you wear a mask, you put on an act for everyone except for yourself. You do things that you would never do. You get yourself into things that you would never get yourself into. You get caught up in things that are outside of us and thinking that it's going to bring fulfillment. You get caught up caught up in chasing things that um you don't have to chase all you got to do is be who you truly are so that's what happens when spirituality enters our life there comes a time when we become we start to have an awakening within us and when we start to have an awakening it's always not uh, it's very uncomfortable because we don't understand what's happening inside of us why are things changing that's why i mentioned you start to see everything that you're not you start to see things that you believe that's not really real or supportive to you or things that you don't understand why you believe them or why you still believe in them and stuff of that nature so i like to say that spirituality opens up a can of whoop you know what because everything will start to present itself to you at its time right but spirituality is beautiful and it's a part of who you truly are you are spiritual because you are energy right in order to connect with most high god the universe god is love you are love and it's going to come through your heart open up your heart portal which we have to move through our chakras and get them balanced and open them up and make sure they stay in alignment right just a simplified way so the so it's important to know that it's okay to open up to spirituality if you're someone who's having a spiritual awakening and everything's changing within you. You feel scared because everything is unfamiliar to you and everything that you ever knew where you were comfortable really destroyed you within yourself and it didn't feel good at all, but it's all you ever knew. And sometimes you want to pull back to that even though you know it's not best for you, whatever that means to you, right? Because I'm talking to people on different levels right now. So whatever that means to you, you just want to pull back to that because that just feels so comfortable it just feels like that's the way it feels like that's the right way to do it it's it's just really all you ever know and when you open up to the spirituality it's going to take you on your path of self-discovery self-development self um yeah self-development so spirituality is going to guide you and lead you to who you've always who you always been and who you always were because remember as i mentioned the video in the beginning i said you wore a mask for so long you totally lost who you were you were born with everything already within you you were equipped with everything already inside you to get through anything that comes through on your path you have it within you you just must believe and remember who you are lovely soul um so spirituality will open you up to what can easily make you feel scared because it's so different and it goes against everything that you used to live by, everything you used to stand by, everything you used to believe in. And at that, it seems like it's rare where you are in your life. There may not be many people that are experiencing what you are experiencing. So you sometimes feel like you're crazy. You sometimes feels feels like like something something's going wrong with you and it's not something's going right with you. You're just starting to remember who you truly are because you're going to start to walk in that path of self-discovery and every part of your path is going to help you discover and remember who you truly are at the end like not instead not not at the end of the path but there's going to come a time when you are going to be at a certain level and you're going to piece these puzzles together and all these things are going to start to make so much sense to you you're going to start to understand why you did some of the things that you did and why you may do some of the things that you do and why you carry some of the beliefs that you carry and why your life was the way it was and where this all started at. And you're going to remember for many people who are really trying to discover their purpose because you discovered along your path. When you do discover your purpose, you're going to remember that it has always been what you've been doing your entire life. When you were a child around seven years old, it's always been in your heart and it's always been a part of who you truly are. You just lost yourself along the way. Think of it very, being very simple. Sometimes when we think of our purpose, we think of too big, right? Just keep it simple and really follow your heart with this and know that you will discover it in time. I do want to give you the message to really embrace and love and fall in love with your journey and be patient along your path. This is a journey. This is this is like what they say, the, the, uh, I don't know, the tortoise 
uh, won the race, right? The turtle. I just know the turtle, okay? The turtle won the race. Be patient with yourself. This takes time, okay? So don't be hard on yourself. Be easy going on yourself, lovely soul. You definitely deserve everything that you're embarking on to. You definitely deserve all of, of, of what you're going to discover about yourself. You definitely deserve this. So spirituality, it, even though it feels like a curse and something that's harming you, it's something that's totally helping you remember who you are. It's just that there are going to be changes that occur in your life that's going to make you totally uncomfortable so get ready buckle up and get ready for the ride lovely soul because it's going to be very uncomfortable because it's all unfamiliar always remember that your mind hates <laughs> what's unfamiliar and it's one job is to try to protect you and keep you safe but know that you are safe know that you are protected and know that you deserve Everything that you are experiencing along your path of self-discovery, you deserve to know. You deserve to remember, lovely soul. And you have everything within you already equipped inside of you and you were born with it so the ego loves to rem remember this the ego loves to edge god out the ego loves to edge goodness out right there are times you might be guided to a certain video to watch and when you're watching that video you'll notice your mind will start to church to try to get you to resist against the video resist against the message to get you to pull back off of it to not watch it you gotta overpower your own mind lovely so you can have power over your mind and over your thoughts you don't have to give your thoughts energy you don't have to focus on those thoughts or believe those thoughts anymore but just become aware of what's really going on awareness is so powerful remember your attention your focus is your energy you are a powerful soul with powerful energy you are powerful you're not powerless you are powerful and that's something that you will remember along your journey you lovely soul i wish you the best i know you got this stay patient live your life to the fullest embrace your journey and fall in love with the journey and fall in love with the process and don't rush to a destination because this is a journey that will last a lifetime you lovely soul it is something that will last a lifetime and there are levels to this earth is absolutely a school going back to the ego it loves to push out all the goodness it loves to push out everything good and it's coming from to let you know the two differences in your inner voices the ego the inner voice the inner critic is more critical and it's more uh limited it's more of lack coming from a place of lack coming from a place of lack war well, tries to keep you safe and in your comfort zone remember comfort kills dreams lovely soul everything that you are looking for and everything that you are you already have it inside of you right you're just simply going to be on this path to discover all of who you truly are and what you came here to do I love you all and I hope this message was definitely beneficial and helpful to you. If it resonates to you and you like this message, hit that like button, you lovely soul. So we get this message out to more lovely souls like yourself. I greatly appreciate you and thank you for sharing your valuable time here with me as well. Check this out. Follow me on Instagram at Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually. Share this video with anyone you feel you want to share this video with. Remember, you do not have to wear the mask any more lovely soul and who cares what people may think of you who cares what people may feel about you you got to put yourself first in your journey because when you start to change everything you ever believed in when you start to go against everything that you have ever believed in people are not going to be happy but it matters if you're happy people may not understand you but you're not going to be understood by um that you're not here to be understood by everyone. The right people will understand you. The right people will understand the things that you are doing. But all that matters is that you understand that you're doing what's best for you. Because you spent a lot of time in your life wearing a mask like I did that truly destroyed you within yourself and made you not happy. So you're done with making people happy. You're done with people pleasing. I want you to imagine you throwing that stuff in the box today in a trash bag. Throwing all those things in that trash bag. Taking that mask off. Throwing in that trash bag. Throwing all those things that, that, that relate to you that doesn't serve you no more that you thought who you were and all that and above throw it in that trash bag tie it up and imagine yourself throwing it out in the dumpster you could do it in real life get a trash bag and imagine you throwing all that and go throw it throw it in the dumpster and, and, and let it be and walk away and let it be it's done and then and embrace this new embrace these new opportunities embrace um the unseen and the unknown and yes it's going to be very uncomfortable because you don't see um everything Right? You don't see it. You're only going to see whatever step you want. If you're on step one, you're only going to see step two and so forth. But you have to trust the process, trust path, the path, trust divine timing, trust your sources, trust your team from within you, lovely soul. I hope this message resonates with you. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you keep coming back to the Pure Clarity Mindset family, which you're so welcome here, you lovely soul. Uh, 
consider subscribing to the channel by hitting that subscribe button and that bell okay i love you all keep taking care of yourself fall in love with the journey don't let your ego edge all the goodness out love you so become aware of your own flaws become aware of the inner critic become aware of your ego i love you come back to see me peace love and light to you